Hello and welcome back to the Rovers Chat YouTube channel. I hope you've defrosted from Rovers 4 to win over Birmingham City. I'm just sitting down this morning to give my ratings as Rovers get that much needed home victory after a really tough few weeks at home. Really good to be back to winning ways. So I'm going to go through each player, give my play rating, give an explanation why. So Leo Volstead, I've gone for a seven with Volstead. I think, uh, I don't think he could have done much about the Dembele goals. I feel that he made some really good saves at 3-1 as well that kind of just calmed it down a bit. You know, if they'd have got that second goal quicker, I think they'd have probably come back and got something. So I've gone for a seven for Tron uh, for Wallstead. Sorry, I think he really did well. Travis, I've gone for a six. Now, Travis, I thought, you know, started well, got a yellow card, which I believe rules him out of Saturday's game, uh, but was taken off at half-time because of that yellow, really. And you know what? He got forward well, to be fair, from right back. He did what he needed to, but just, I think it was an average performance, but again, he's not a right back, is he? Uh, James Hill, really delighted for his goal before I say anything, but I will give him a seven. Uh, I'm just really happy he got that goal. He's deserved that goal for a bit. Really good physically. Obviously, uh, got forward well at times as well. Brought Rovers out of defence when needed to, playing at centre-back rather than right back. And I actually thought he formed quite a good partnership with Carter. I just feel that Carter on the left slightly worse, uh, but don't get me wrong, Kim and uh, Hill and Carter both did what they needed to, really. Uh, and again, really impressed. Carter, I've also gone for a seven. I think he was good. Uh, did well enough, given the change in position slightly to the left side. I think people don't realise how hard that can be on that left side. I thought he did the job there when he needed to. Uh, and coming up against really experienced striker in Lukas Djukovic, I thought he did really well to keep him out. So ultimately, I think a seven's fair. And Pickering, as I give him nearly every week, it's a seven rating. Mr. Consistent, solidly def uh, solid defensively, sorry. Uh, it linked up really well with Smodic and Sigurdsson on that left as Rovers really grew into the second half. Uh, his crossing leaves a bit to be desired at times, but I don't really know why we're crossing it anyway with the smaller players in the box. But it is what it is. Uh, Sandra Tronstad, I've gone for a six. Now, I don't think this means Tronstad's struggle necessarily. I just think he was a bit poor passing at times. I thought his distribution, especially after I praised him on the podcast, which is typical, uh, was a bit sloppy, but he still got the ball back for Rovers and still helped us get forward. Uh, Adam Wharton, I've also gone for a six. I think he was a bit sloppy at times defensively. When on the ball, he kind of should just get rid of it at times, and he doesn't, but that's Wharton. You take the risk to have Adam Wharton in the side and brilliant ball through to find Smodics for the goal. Now on to Super Sammy Smodics. After a new contract, I've given him an eight. I thought he was brilliant again. Uh, I don't think he was actually in the game too much. We discussed it on the podcast that he can be out the game for 80 minutes and then get two goals. And this is what he was here. Before his goals, he was quite out of it. Gets his, goal, uh, gets his first goal really into it. Takes that second goal. Can I just say, by the way, them two chips, the audacity to try it again. The stop on the first goal when he goes to go through on goal. Defender catches him, so he cuts inside and chips it. Just... I can't put into words how good Sammy Smodics has been. Uh, and I'm delighted to actually see him, you know, performing and getting getting these goals he deserves. It. He's on for 20 at the moment. I really hope he hits it soon because uh, I really want to see how far he can get this season in terms of goals. Callum Britton, six. I thought he had quite a quiet game uh, on the wing. I thought when he came into right back, actually, he did well, although he, he was probably at fault for the Dembele goal. Uh, but for me, He's got a really good point, a really good place in this team where we can add defensive solidity on that right wing whilst also getting forward. I think Rovers have found a really good balance there when we've got either Travis or James Hill at right back. I think it just works. Moran, I've gone for a seven. I don't think he was massively in the game, got an assist, takes him up to 10, uh, 11 goal contributions for the season. Sorry. Uh, I thought he was quieter in the second half, but ultimately he's still, still a decent showing from Moran. I'm stumbling over my words there. I'm not excited. Uh, Dolan, I've gone for a six as well. I think Dolan had a quiet game, really. Uh, in the first 15 minutes, of course, he came off after 15 minutes. But I just hope that that injury is not serious because I do think he actually had something. So, yeah, quiet 16 minutes or so. Uh, fingers crossed the injuries, you know, cleared up by Saturday. Harry Leonard, I've gone for a seven. I'm really impressed by Harry off the bench. I'm a massive Harry Leonard fan. Anyone who's watched the uh, Rob Stark YouTube channel, see how we're talking about him in the 21s. I'm so, so happy he got that goal. Held the ball up really well, played the pass through to Smodix for the goal that Smodix got, or for one of the goals, sorry, and took his goal really well. Really happy for Harry. And for me, he leads the line on Saturday if Dolan isn't back. The final one, Sigurdsson six. Now, Sigurdsson actually really bright when he started. 
uh, when he come off the bench. So he started in really good fashion, linking up well. And then when Birmingham got into the game, he really died off. And I think he struggled. I do think it's just adapting. I think that's what he's missing, the time to adapt. We forget that he's coming to this club in a bit of a different position from everyone, given everything going over in Russia. Uh, I think, for me, he's going to become a really good asset for Rovers if we can time down permanently. He just needs a run in the team, but he's not going to get that run when the players are performing how they are. Uh, that's my ratings for the 13 players that played. Let us know down below your ratings for each one, with six being about par for course. Of course, you can check out the match reaction from Mark Kitchen. Uh, that's over on the YouTube channel, and you can also check out the podcast and the preview for the Chef Wednesday game that will be coming out, as well as everything else. We'll put everything out there for each game. Come and support us. Keep watching the podcast. Keep listening to everything. Your support really does mean a lot to us, so please keep it coming. Plenty of stuff to come on Rovers Chat. A few stuff we can't announce yet, but really excited for the future. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you soon.